All right. Well, thank you, everybody, for attending today uh, this first installment of 2B Law webinar. This is the first of uh, five webinars that we'll do on this product. Uh, today is March the 3rd, and my name is Glenn Kinsler. I'm Relationship Management Manager rather, at 2B Solutions, and uh, I'll be leading us today. We do want to keep this quick, so let's just go ahead and dive in. Uh, what we will cover today, quick background on 2B Solutions, also give you a very high-level overview of what is 2B Law, uh, and then we'll dive right into the demo. We'll start working with leads, how you can manage cases, uh, recording time, expenses, and payments, uh, also working with documents as well. Then we'll have some time for Q&A uh, at the end. So about 2 speed Solution, we were founded in 2003 and we're headquartered in Birmingham, Alabama. We specialize in two things, and that is inventory management, inventory and asset management solutions, and also corporate CRM solutions. Uh, we have over 1,000 end customers in 14 countries, most of those for inventory management. Uh, but we are uh, a certified Microsoft CRM partner and also a member of the Apple Business Consultants Network. Here is just a hand-picked list of some of our more notable CRM clients. Uh, for those of you here in the Birmingham or Alabama area, some of these uh, should look familiar to you. They include UAB, uh, the University of Alabama, also one of our newest clients. Uh, AfterTech is a large health care organization here in Birmingham. Uh, you may recognize a few others as well. But I hope this uh, shows that we can bring a lot of experience to the table for our clients. So what is 2B Law? Well, 2B Law is a centralized place where uh, firm employees, attorneys and admins, can store all relevant data and activities relating to legal cases that are ongoing, also their clients and prospective clients as well. It's also a fully functional CRM solution based on one of the best of breed solutions out there, Microsoft Dynamics CRM. Uh, there's also integrated document management uh, along with the solution for those who want to take advantage of Microsoft SharePoint. Uh, and it can also be a very, very helpful and powerful tool for firm admins and managing partners to analyze and track data uh, key to, to the firm. Uh, things like profitability, uh, caseloads, uh, time build, so forth and so on. Just having a central and standardized place to put everything uh, will streamline a lot of activities and make things easier to find for everybody. Uh, with 2B Law, it's very easy to find the information that you're looking for and share that information across the firm. It's more affordable than other case management solutions out there. I know that there are a number, uh, but 2B Law is also totally customizable, and that's not something that, that, that uh, you see very often with case management systems. Uh, everything that I'm going to show you can be customized depending on your firm's needs, including things like layout, uh, field options. Um, you can also leverage the out-of-the-box capabilities of Microsoft Dynamics CRM, including uh, lots of robust marketing functions, uh, permissions, in, in other words, being able to share or hide uh, information from others in the firm, uh, a very powerful workflow engine, customizable dashboards, email alerts, and that's really just scratching the surface of, of Dynamics CRM. There's also an integrated mobile app as well, which we'll talk about in more detail in one of our future webinars. So let's dive right into the demo. And when I first log in, notice this is a browser-based application. I'm currently using uh, Internet Explorer, although you can use uh, Chrome or Safari if you use a Mac, uh, Firefox as well. But I'm using Internet Explorer today. Uh, the system, when you first log in, generally opens to a dashboard, which is just a very high-level representation of some key metrics in the firm. This can all be customized, but here I've just got a, a breakdown of, of leads. Uh, a breakdown of cases assigned to attorney. If I scroll down a little bit, I've got a uh, breakdown of case types in the firm. So I can quickly see here, I've got a lot of family law, a lot of criminal law, and just maybe you know, just a handful of civil cases. Um, this could be total, th this is a chart representing total time billed by uh, attorneys. And you can see one person is clearly doing uh, a lot more than the others. Uh, this would also be an interesting chart over time as well, and we can certainly do that. If I hover over legal, this legal tab, notice I get a drop-down navigation menu. 
dashboards, legal cases. I'm going to come back to this in a second, but I'm going to first go into leads because really that's where the process starts. So when I click on leads, I'm presented with my open leads. These are leads that are that are tied to me. Uh, all of the, so I've got five here in my pipeline basically. Uh, these columns are all sortable. Uh, so if I wanted to uh, you know, see perhaps which ones are uh, maybe the most lucrative, it's very easy to do that. These can, these, uh, this view can also be filtered as well. So say I want to just see my civil cases, it's very easy, again, to get to the information that you're trying to find. Let's open up one of these lead records. Let's open up Jeffrey Scoggins. So when I click on him, I'm presented with more information about this particular lead. So I've got uh, you know your basic contact information over here on the on the uh, on the left. I've got some additional fields here for an employer if I need it. Uh, over here on the far right, I've got more details about the case, including the charges, what type of case it is. Notice this is a drop-down field here, and this and these options can all be customized depending on your firm's um, what, what type of law your firm practices. This is a criminal case. I've got a you know sort of an estimated fee or a fee that I'm throwing out there to quote a brief synopsis. If I come back here into the middle, this is where I can track all of my activities associated with this lead. Here I'm showing a, a couple of calls that I've had with Jeffrey. I can also track notes as well. So here's just a uh, you know just a place where I can uh, just sort of notes to myself or other persons in the firm uh, notes about this uh, particular lead. If uh, we've had conversations with this uh, person for a while and they decide that they do want to move forward, that we will represent them, I can uh, quickly convert, you might notice this button here, convert to legal case. So I can go through that step here. This is a workflow that's running in the background. So now this lead becomes inactive and uh, everything is kind of fixed on that lead and now I'm presented with the actual legal case. Now I'm going to go back and look at all the legal cases. These are all of, notice again, these are my legal cases. If I wanted to look at, say, all legal cases for the firm, I can. Uh, notice here there's 63 total. Um, these are called views, different views. And so I can look at all the bankruptcy or all the civil or, uh, again, all cases. But I'm going to go back to just my legal cases. And here I'm working on 15 of them. Here are my, you know, my clients, the case number, uh, case type, quote fee, uh, date opened again. But all of these, um, all these uh, columns can be changed uh, if if there uh, if there's other information that you want to see. But let's go in uh, to Leota Ballard. And again, I have my uh, sort of basic case information here. This is a family law case, jurisdiction, and so forth. Some more information about the case. Notice here uh, at the bottom, I've got uh, just an overview of the billing. Here in the middle, I've got um, time, expenses, and payments, pains. And notice here, I've got a couple of time records uh, entered already. Uh, if I wanted to add new time to this case, I'd click, uh, quickly click on this um, add time record. And uh, some of this information is pre-populated for me, so I can pull in, okay, is this in court or out of court? Uh, I select this as out of court. Notice my out of court rate is uh, auto-populated for me. If this was an in court, <clears throat> the number might change. Uh, I can add a brief description here, but let's say this is in court. I work two hours. We'll go ahead and uh, click Save. And now I've got three time records uh, here. Uh, this, uh, this will help me keep track of my expenses as well and also payments. Uh, if we refresh this page, my balances and uh, time billed, fee earned, and so forth, all of this information changes as well. Um, over on the far right, I can uh, document all my activities. Uh, whether they're meetings or research. Uh, there's also a place for connections as well. So I can add uh, other people uh, related to this case, such as in this example, the judge. Perhaps I want to document who the um, uh, opposing attorney is as well, any sort of witnesses, any experts, things like that. 
So if I scroll down here, I've got information specific to a family law case. You know, I've got who the spouse is, the date of marriage, date of separation, and so forth. Uh, brief description, children. We could add more fields if needed. But what if this were actually a criminal law case? So I'm going to scroll back up. I'm going to change this to criminal law. And if I scroll back down, notice all of these options are now different. I've got uh, uh, you know things like places where I can store the judge and the prosecutor and places where I can provide more information about the charges. So these are dynamic fields here. Generally, this field here would be fixed. After it's set, it can't go back, uh, you know, be changed. But I just did want to demonstrate to you that um, different fields will be presented depending on what case type it is. <clears throat> uh, let me just wrap up with uh, a little bit of information about um, documents. So. Um, Microsoft CRM works great with other Microsoft products, most notably SharePoint, uh, particularly for uh, organizations that are using Office 365, which is the Microsoft's cloud-hosted version of Exchange and SharePoint and Link. But I'm going to open up this Brian Williams um, uh, record, and so this is a this is a different type of case. Notice some some different entries in here. If I click on this little, this is called the Related Tabs button. I click over here and scroll over to documents. I'm kind of taken into another page, and this is basically kind of a window into SharePoint. So uh, if, I, if I don't have any documents loaded in here now, but if I wanted to upload one, I could. Uh, I could uh, click the Add Document button, browse to it on my uh, desktop. So we'll do this uh, Discovery Doc here. This is a Microsoft Word document. Click OK. And now this document is being uploaded and stored in uh, SharePoint. Uh, and this can be accessible for other members of the firm, um, myself too. You can also take advantage of, um, of uh, SharePoint's versioning capability. So if another person comes in and edits it later, that will all be uh, stored and documented. So uh, it's really a, a very, very powerful tool uh, to um, really just streamline so many activities, replace a lot of manual processes, uh, a lot of uh, spreadsheets, a lot of heavy use of Outlook, uh, and so forth. Uh, I hope that this has been helpful for you today. Uh, we will be doing a couple of more of these in the upcoming weeks. If you do have any uh, questions, would love for you to contact us directly at uh, sales.2bsolutions.net. Uh, here's my phone number as well, 205-408-9991, extension 3. That comes straight to my desk. And you can also visit this link for more information about the product. Uh, I really appreciate everybody's time. Thank you very much. If you'd like to learn more, perhaps see a customized demo, uh, please contact us. We'd love to talk. At this point, I'm going to stop the recording and then get into the Q&A.